Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today is Mother's Day and I'm going to cook one of my mom's favourite which is chilli crab. Now this is an extremely easy dish to do apart from uh, cleaning and uh, washing up the crab itself. What you need over here is actually I'm using uh, two crabs over here. I have with me about two cloves of garlic that I've chopped up. One and a half teaspoon of uh, sugar. Five tablespoons of uh, tomato ketchup. One tablespoon of uh, dried shrimp, just uh, wash and drain. You don't have to soak this. Uh, two tablespoons, two to two and a half tablespoons of your favorite chili sambal um, itself. Okay. Um, half an onion that I've chopped up like this, and two eggs. So let's start frying. Once the pan is heated up, in goes the onion. Okay, right, just roughly chop with fine. Just want to bring the aromatic up. The dry shrimps. Fry them around until you can smell the fragrances. So when you smell how nicely this smells like, add in the chili. There's a lot of chili over here. Um, maybe I'll just use two tablespoons. You can use any chili, uh, sambal chili that you like. In the event that, I mean if you are living overseas and you don't have readily all this kind of uh, um, chili, what you can do is actually can chop uh, up uh, this uh, small chili or hot pepper and then do it the same way also. Okay. So once this is done, I'll add in water. Approximately about 3 quarts of it. Now if you want more sauce, you can actually add in more water, but I think this is just nice for us. So I'll wait for this to boil before I put the crab in. Once the water is boiling, it's time to put in the crabs. Just spread them around. Leave them in for approximately about 10 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how big your crab is actually. 10 minutes has passed. Let's just have a look. Yes, the crab is cooked already. So next we do is we add in the tomato paste or tomato ketchup, the sugar, and we stir them a bit. Let's have a taste just to make sure that it's uh, spicy enough, savory enough, and uh, sourish enough. Very spicy, it is very spicy. Okay, so what we do next is we, we add in a little bit of salt, approximately about uh, one teaspoon of it. Stir them around. Okay, I prepared also beforehand uh, some uh, tapioca starch slurry which I'm going to thicken up the, the, the chili sauce or the chili crab okay. a bit more. Next I'm going to put crab in two eggs Now if you like to your, your sauce to be a little bit more full body you can actually add in one more egg if you want to but I think two eggs right? Just break them up and stir them around, okay? One final taste before I take it up. Ah, very nice, very nice. This is exactly how I like it. If you would like your sauce to be a little bit more orangey and a little bit more tangy, you can add in more tomato sauce if you want to. But for us, actually, we prefer the taste of a uh, um, stronger chili paste actually so this is how we like it okay we are done time to dish it up and there you have it ladies and gentlemen our version of the singapore chili crab i hope you like our video do click on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching